Game on. Get that out of the way. Let's get some fish. <laughs> That's a great Saskatchewan pike right there. Wow. Oh, yeah, there she goes. There we go. Way to go. Oh, jump on the base. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company, Cooper Tires, Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters, and Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. For those of you who live in Canada's western provinces, you realize just how good your natural resources of hunting and fishing actually are. For those living in Ontario and East, you may not have a grasp on just how good our western neighbors have it. Today's Fishing Canada episode takes me to the province of Saskatchewan, about an hour north of Regina on Last Mountain Lake, in search of big, early season northern pike. I'm teaming up with Rob Schulz of GNS Marina Outfitters, who from what I've heard is the main man when it comes to pike fishing in this area. I like that. We're, uh, we're fishing like a, a main lake bay that's a contributory. It's got a water inlet there, a natural stream that runs in okay. through it. Okay. And uh, kind of what we're looking for at this time of the year, especially in the spring, is a difference in water temperature from main lake to bays. That's what draws these fish in here. That's where our first growth of weeds are. Yep. That's where the bait fish come in, start feeding on uh, algae plankton that's starting to grow. And then the, the big fish are following in the bait fish. Okay, and they'll stay in here for a certain amount of time and then finally it gets too warm and then the bait fish leave and the big guys follow them exactly, out to the lake, yep. right? We're game on. Get that out of the way, let's get some fish. <laughs> let's go. I like your attitude, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what we're doing here is we, we've anchored the boat off the front so we can both fish off the back. Really, get, Rob's got these areas dialed into a real you know, little spots here and there and here and there. So we don't have to stay on the trolling motor and look and look and search. He's got these areas down. That's the beauty of having a guide or somebody local that really knows the spot. So you can just sit there and now we'll anchor off here. We'll work this, work this, work this. If it's no good, move. If it's good, we catch some fish, we'll move again. So after we're done. There we go, fish oh, on. There's a piker. Is he a netter? A no. nettable? He's I'm gonna be I'm gonna be netting the guides fish. I love it. What do you got, Rob? Uh, probably about a mid 30s. Okay, a good a strong fish, right? Yeah. Good fighter. If we need to, if we don't need to net him, we do, oh yeah, he's got some decent fish. Yeah, good looking fish, buddy. That's the way to start it, right there. And we'll just keep moving up. We'll go up by two inches at a yeah, time, okay? Every for fish. Sure. <laughs> you know, he's I'll hooked good, so he's... let's put him in net so we get the first one in the boat. Yeah. Easy, girl. Springtime cold water, these fish have a lot of fight to them. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Nice duck. Nice fish, buddy. Yeah. Whoa, get me wet, girl. Nicely done. Look at the lip on this fish. Yeah, he's got been a, caught before. Yeah. Catch and wow. release. Played out pretty good. Nice. There we go. there's oh, a, yeah. There's a good fish Andy. right there, folks. Good one. Good work. First spot. What, like five minutes in here? Yeah. There's nice 30, fish, 38 buddy. inch fish. Yeah. There. Yeah, that's the way to start your day. <laughs> Good. But well, usually you get a little hammer handles your first fish of the day. I like this place. Yeah. Nice. Gotcha. Nicely done. Okay. We're good, good to go. Good shoulders, buddy. Well nice go. fish. That fish Great almost start. got as big a shoulders as you. <laughs> there you go, bud. Drop okay. back. Nicely done. That's a great start. Oh, yeah, there she goes. He had to give it to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Little payback. Uh, oh, way to go, buddy. Now, if that's a starter fish, I can't wait to see the closing fish. Woo. Nice. nice. Good job, bud. Well done. Oh, I like that. Fast and furious. And nice, big, strong pike. I think we're going to have a good day. Do you get hammer handles, too, in here? Or? Not very many. When these big ones are in, there's not very many small fish. Is that right? We'll be lucky to catch anything under 24 inches. Really, yeah, eh? You won't see many small fish. Are they just afraid fish. of them? Just yeah, well, I'm sure they're going to get eaten, too. These oh. big fish will eat those. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, eh? Coming into a, a, a big fish sanctuary. Come on. You know, he's not that much of a rocket. He's not bad. I thought it was a rocket, but he's not big. But he's, he's solid on the back. That's all. 
I was gonna say, you hit it kind of funny because uh, rockets normally don't. Pretty decent fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of those just be, able, just be able to grab them around the back, eh? Barely. Hand around. <laughs> oh, he's a pretty Boy. good fish. Yeah. Look at look at the how far that swim bait's in, buddy. Yeah, it is cool. gone. Beauty, man, they come out good though, don't yeah, they? They sure do. Beautiful. He's full of my, yeah. yeah. You know, like, again, Boy, thick again. This is that thick yeah. across the back. You know, he's a short fish, but what's that, 36 maybe? Yeah, or 34, 35. Yeah. yeah, that thick fish. But all it is. That they pull. And when they hit you, you just, they, got, they smash it. <laughs> there we go. Way to go. Yeah. That was your fish. <laughs> Oh, jump with the nades! <laughs> <laughs> you got going on? How much fish could a pelican eat in a day? I bet you probably about four or five pounds of fish a day. What do they know, normally eat, you know? Is there a species they go for, or they go for the well, bait Well, they fish? really like the Cisco, too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Opportunists, though, they'll eat anything that they can catch. Oh, yeah, they swallow down a yeah. four pound pike like it was a yep. hot dog. Yeah. We're going to get buzzed. I love the way they fly, man. They're the coolest flying birds ever. Hello, ladies. That's what I like when they do that right over the water. Yeah. So cool. I don't know about you, but when, when swim baits first came out, we looked at them as, as big jigs, you know? And we used to just, we worked them like jigs. Yeah. So we basically, and that was the wrong thing to do. It's not what these baits are designed to do. With, the, with these big jig heads in them, you know, your first instinct is to lift it up and down, let it drop on the bottom. It's totally wrong. It's just, when they, they call it a swim bait, they mean you swim it back. You just reel it at a steady pace. That tail, they have all different types of tails. That thing goes back and forth like that, and it's just like a, a spoon or a crankbait or anything else, right? It's just the weight is there to get you at your proper depth if you want. Swim baits like the ones we're using today are best known for being big bass lures, especially in the USA. That said, a predator fish is a predator fish. So, if they work in the south, they'll certainly work in the north, and not just for bass. They come in an assortment of sizes, shapes, and materials, all of which have their place. There's hard and soft bodies, full bodied and jointed, hollow and solid, and finally straight, paddle or boot tailed. Today we're throwing five inch big hammer swim baits. These are hand poured and have a unique square tail, giving the bait incredible action. My pike partner today, Rob, has tried a variety of different swim baits, but swears that this is the perfect choice for Last Mountain Lake. They were, whoa! How we looking, buddy? Coming on my side. So. Another decent fish. Oh, yeah. He ate it again. <laughs> oh, 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 jump of the day. <laughs> oh my God, that, that swim bait's gone. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Holy man. They come out nice though, don't oh, yeah. they? That's a nice part about a single hook. Yeah. Fat, these fish are fat, man. Scrappy. Yeah, scrappy. That was a jump, jump of the day for sure, buddy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he slammed it. He slammed it, that guy. He might be better. He might be a bit better. What's a walleye? Whoa. Giant walleye. Oh my god. Wait, you see this? Open, get this in the net. This is a pig of a walleye. I'm looking, I think, in a great big, you know, a nice sized pike. Wow. Look at this walleye. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There's our bonus fish. Oh my god, that's a bonus fish. <laughs> Holy yeah, look at the head on him, eh? yeah. Look at, he ate that. Look at that swim bait in his mouth. Just completely ate it. Slack line me just like a pike would. Yeah. Oh man, nice walleye, bud. Oh. That's a beauty. And you're, like you're right, he's not the longest walleye in the world, but look at how thick he is. Yeah. Wow, solid fish. Now, the pliers on him. 
Yeah, right in the roof Doctor, of the mouth. So. Perfect. Should be perfect. Nicely done. It's around my hand. There you go. Oh, Rob said we're going to get something like that. He said, you know, with the, if you're in here in these, pa in these shallows and the flats and the pike are in here feeding, these guys are going to be in here too. So. Uh, wow. What a bonus fish. What an absolute bonus fish that was. So I had no idea that was a walleye. And first, when I first hit and I pull it, I says, ah, this feels like a better one. <laughs> I like that. That is so cool. On a big swim bait, five inch swim bait. I mean, that shows you, yeah, like that. That's a big hammer. That one with a big boot tail or whatever you call it, big square tail on it. Just flaps. Open jig head, open hook. You don't need a wheelless in here because it's just rocks. Perfect. Yes, guy. Beauty. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a fight, buddy. That is a fight. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah. Felt kind of wall. Nah, I don't know. Either one. It could have been either one. I think he stripped me back a little. He bumped. It was just a nice. It was a kind of a double, double or triple bump. Definitely a bite though. There's one, Rob. Nice. Here we go. Threw back off the point. He feels pretty solid. I mean, the wind could be doing a lot. We're in a really strong wind here, folks. So, um, but you know what? This feels like a good fish. Stand down. Yeah, stand down nicely. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Watch that motor. He's going right underneath the motor. Oh shit! Come on, big guy. Passed. Good. This is a good fish, boys and girls. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, oh yeah. Oh nice. That's a nice fish, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's, That's what we're duck. looking for, baby. He's coming over again. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a dandy. That's a nice pike, <laughs> bud. That's a nice pike. Yes. I can spin him if you want to go after oh, yeah. him now. You think he's green so still green or do you wanna? Well, let's... Laying pretty lethargic, so. He is, yeah. That's a big fish, boy. Yeah. That's, way, that's over 40, that yeah. guy. Looks good. like he's hooked good, so. Yeah. yeah. You wanna try him? Okay, let's get him. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a giant, oh. buddy. That's a giant. Oh. 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 <laughs> you still got him. I can't believe you caught that fish in the air. <laughs> Oh, he is a giant. Oh, my God, look at this thing. Oh, my God, man, oh. that break. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you caught him in the air, bud. <laughs> That's a great Saskatchewan pike right there. Wow. Oh, I can feel his, his heart beating underneath there. You know it. As soon as you set the hook, you know oh, it. Oh, bam. Right? Yeah, you stops you cold. It. Wow. That's awesome. Nice. What a nice pike. And there's bigger than that here, too. Yeah. Beautiful. Watch that rod. Yep. Right, thanks, buddy. Okay, mama. This is always a workout doing this stuff. Bye bye. Like nice. That. Boy, talk when about cooperative. When they release a boat like that. <laughs> Woo. Buddy, thanks so much. That's awesome. Nice fish, man. Set right up on a point of weeds. Rob says, okay, this is. Between here and down in that little spot, it's going to be, there's, there's big fish around. And the good thing he said, what I like he said is, there's not too many small fish around. Eh? That's the That's nice right. part about it. Yeah. So, that was the best. That thing going out of the net like that. I've never seen anybody catch it like that. That was gone. <laughs> you got him, but you're quick. Uh. This Western Canadian pike adventure most definitely showed me the importance of choosing the correct bait. Trust me, I tried the old reliables like spoons, spinners, jerk baits, etc. But the swim baits truly brought the magic to last mountain lake. <laughs> to get to today's great pike fishing, I first flew from Toronto to Regina, Saskatchewan. From there, I drove north on Highway 11 to Lumsden. Next, I turned north on Highway 20 and followed the road through the scenic Coppell Valley past Craven. Just before I reached Boulier, I turned west on Highway 220, which took me to Rowan's Ravine Provincial Park and GNS Marina Outfitters on Last Mountain Lake. Today's KLP is P for presentation. These Saskatchewan Pike were keyed in on our swim baits so much that nothing else came close. And in my opinion, it boiled down to two ingredients. Number one is the square boot tail, which gives off tons of vibration. When water clarity is a bit dingy or murky, vibration becomes a key factor. Number two is the bait material composition. These baits are ultra soft. This means extra movement, which creates more flash as well as, you guessed it, more vibration. The downside to using hand poured soft plastic baits is they'll wear down quickly, especially after being thrashed on by a big pike. The Fish in Canada Show. Brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine.
Closed captioning provided by Lithium Pros, the one battery you need.